This is Apple's $3,500 4K per eye headset. And this is Visor, a $950 4K per eye headset. Or should I say $400? Watch till the end. Today we're comparing both of these headsets to find out which one would be most worth it for you. All right, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna evaluate both headsets based on day-to-day -day usefulness. I mean, you don't just spend thousands of dollars on a headset for it to sit on a shelf. Both headsets have ultra high 4K resolution per eye. That's basically like having a 4K OLED TV for each of your eyeballs, giving you unmatched clarity with crisp colors and deep blacks. Now you can take a 4K screen with you wherever you go, even in bed. He's gonna try to finish Lord of the Rings on his work from home lunch break. Now let's talk about the differences. Now we all know that Apple's a powerhouse when it comes to entertainment. You got Apple TV Plus along with other streaming services and a plethora of games which can be found on their app store. And guess what? All of that is gonna be built into the Apple Vision Pro. So far there are no confirmed plans for Netflix, Spotify, or YouTube apps on the Vision Pro. I wonder why. Drama! Plus you can have a fully immersive experience or you can use augmented reality to enhance your physical surroundings. Apple's battery lasts two hours. Good luck getting through Lord of the Rings. Now Visor wasn't made for all the immersive experiences that Apple spent so much time focusing on. Now why do I say it like that? It's not bad. But they did spend too much time on it. With Visor, you can still watch your favorite movies, TV shows, and sports. You'll have access to streaming services like Netflix, Prime Video, and even Apple TV+. Just saying. In contrast to Apple's battery lasting two hours, Visor lasts for three. Now you can watch Lord of the Rings. Now something Visor has that we didn't see with the Vision Pro is the ability to watch TV with others, as long as they have a headset that runs immersed, including the Apple Vision Pro. Just saying. So, points. No. Wait, we're not doing points? Let's do points. Wait, I think Apple's gonna win this one. Yeah, it's not the points. Now, while both headsets have great entertainment experiences, the immersive experiences push the Vision Pro over the top. See, I could be a nice guy. Y'all thought I was gonna be biased. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would love to sit in a land speeder watching The Mandalorian, but it will cost you $3,500. I'm glad they spent a lot of time on it. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite topic, work and productivity. That's fine, I get that, but you're wrong and I hate you. That's not your favorite topic? That's, that's my favorite topic. You heard that, Renji? That's my favorite topic. I love work. Both headsets have a floating 4K monitor in front of you and can seamlessly switch between reality and virtual reality. Or as Apple likes to call it, spatial computing land. But we like to call it being immersed. Okay, so hold on. Why would anybody wanna be fully immersed while working? Working in augmented reality allows you to see your real world surroundings while being in virtual reality allows you to cut out distractions and focus on your work. Both headsets can do this. And again, both headsets have ultra high 4K resolution per eye. Not to mention, there's no glare or reflections to distract you like you have with your normal monitors. And finally, both headsets allow you to collaborate with others. Now, let's get into the differences. We'll start with screens. The Apple Vision Pro lets you mirror one MacBook screen, which you can reposition or resize however you want. Apple's also including their productivity apps on the Vision Pro. So I personally don't use Apple's productivity apps like pages, notes, and numbers, but if you work with in that productivity suite, then you'll fit right in. Visor gives you five plus 4K screens from your computer along with your phone and your tablet. And you can open whatever apps you would already use on your computer and other devices. Your screens can be resized and repositioned wherever you want, allowing you to create your perfect work setup no matter where you are. The Vision Pro showcased their version of collaboration with 2D FaceTime video tiles, giving users the ability to reposition and resize them, which seems pretty cool, but in reality, it's only a small step forward from collaboration we already know on Zoom. They did show off Personas, which starts off with the face scan using your Vision Pro and allows you to join FaceTime calls even if you have your headset on. But even those are still on 2D tiles. Now, Visor takes collaboration even further by allowing you to work remotely with others as if you were in the same physical room. And that means you can whiteboard or share as many screens as you want, just like you were sitting next to your coworker in the office. I mean, the Vision Pro will have coworking, thanks to Immersed. Visor will allow you to join virtual cafes or co-working spaces similar to WeWork. Here you can meet and work alongside people from all around the world, allowing you to network with other professionals without even leaving your living room. Or let's be honest, for some of you, without even leaving the toilet. It's a damn shame. When you gotta go, you gotta go. This closes the lid on the work and productivity section. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Let's do points. This one. 
most divisive. Look, the Vision Pro will have an extensive app store, but with only one mirrored MacBook screen, users will be locked into the Apple ecosystem. Visor, on the other hand, supports up to five extended virtual screens on Mac, Windows, and Linux, making it accessible to everyone. And while the FaceTime tiles are a nice touch on the Vision Pro, the future of collaboration is more than just 2D faces. It's a shared virtual space where you can work together as if you were in the same room, even when you physically aren't. I think that's fair. I regret nothing. The end. What is this? A center for ants? The center has to be at least three times bigger than this. Unlike most headsets we've seen to date, both Visor and Vision Pro were designed with aesthetics in mind. We're designed with aesthetics in mind. We're designed with aesthetics in mind. We're designed with aesthetics. Both headsets have very clear design inspirations. Sunglasses for Visor and fashionable ski goggles for the Vision Pro. And if you wear glasses, both headsets will have add-ons for custom prescription lenses. Let's get into the differences, starting with size, weight, and form factor. The big pain point for everyone. We've been in this space for a long time and we constantly hear, I don't wanna wear a two pound brick on my face. In which I respond, all right, chill out. After hearing this over and over, we now have it drilled into our minds. People just don't wanna wear a heavy device. Visor has a sleek form factor that resembles a pair of sunglasses, can fit in the palm of your hand, and weighs less than your average apple. I did that. It's small enough to just throw in your backpack. You can take it and use it at the coffee shop, at the airport, on the subway, or wherever you go. You can work in public with Visor without feeling like everybody in the room is staring at you thinking, what is that person wearing? Oh my Why would God. You? Then you got the Vision Pro, where the form factor resembles a thicker set of ski goggles, weighing about the same as a small watermelon. That's at least a pound and a half of glass and aluminum sitting on your face. That headset is heavy. Yeah. It's just really heavy for a VR headset because of all the metal and the extra screens and everything. Something that's $3,500 that you're only going to use for like five to 10 minutes every few days. It's like a really expensive toy. Now, to their credit, they were thinking about weight when they decided to take the battery off of the device and attach it through a cord to an external battery pack, which was a smart move to reduce weight. 650 grams on the front of your face might be okay for a 15 minute demo, but it's not gonna feel great for a two hour movie. And that's one of the major use cases. Apple could have used lighter material, but they chose to use their iconic glass and aluminum. That will cost them when it comes to comfort for long use, and it'll cost you $3,500. Or you can get Visor from $400. Guess you gotta watch till the end. With Visor, there are two options for comfort. A stem configuration that resembles traditional sunglasses and a strap configuration for maximum support. For the Vision Pro, there are also two options. The Solo Knit Band with Bit Dial and the Dual Loop Band. It does seem like Apple spent a lot of time designing the Solo Knit Band. We've never seen such a beautifully designed head strap like this before. But because the device is so heavy, it looks like Apple may require the Dual Loop Band for all their demos. All right, points. You had to see that one coming. We're actually trying to be fair. Let's be honest, the Vision Pro is a beautiful piece of technology, but because of its size, weight, and bulkier form factor, it just doesn't seem like a practical device to be using in public. So as far as portability and form factor are concerned, I think Visor takes this one. Let's be honest here. What would you rather wear on your face? I have a, a couple speakers playing uh, some acid jazz. This one should be quick. <sighs> The Vision Pro's got onboard dual driver audio pods positioned next to each ear to deliver personalized sound while letting you hear what's around you. Spatial audio makes sounds feel like they're coming from your surroundings. Audio ray tracing analyzes your room's acoustic properties to adapt to match sound to your space. It's incredible, it's the sound the is surrounding. Really? Wait, what are we talking about, some echo locations? What am I, a bat? Am I talking? <laughs> At what cost? Yeah, Visor doesn't have that, but Visor does allow you to connect your favorite Bluetooth headphones. So instead of rebuilding the headphones you already have and charging you extra, we'd just rather pass the savings on to you. All right, time for points. Hey, I told you, this is gonna be quick. With both the Vision Pro and Visor, there are no controllers. You're using your eyes and your hands to interact with virtual objects. And that is probably the closest thing to mind control that exists. And when it comes to performance, we have to talk about the processes that are in these devices. Visor is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2. And with good reason, the XR2 Plus Gen 2 is currently the best XR processor that's on the market today. And there's only a handful of devices that have access to this chip. The Apple Vision Pro is not skimping on performance. It has two whole chips. It's got the M2 chip and the R1. The M2 chip is like having a whole MacBook Pro on your face. 
The R1 chip handles all the computer vision algorithms like hand tracking, environment tracking, video pass-through, and in having both of these processors, no other headset on the market can really compete with it. That's a wrap on the performance category. Let's see those points. We're gonna have to give Apple the win on this one. This scary black bar is what you spend on things that no one ever, ever needs. We already know the Vision Pro retails for $3,499, and the Visor retails for $949. However, however, there is a membership option that drastically reduces the upfront cost to just $400. Only $400 upfront for a 4K per eye headset? That's pretty insane. Check out the link in the description to learn more. All right, final category, let's get to the points. For this one, Visor wins by 2,550 points. Oddly specific, huh? Because that's how much money you would save buying the Visor over the Apple Vision Pro. Just kidding, I know, it's not fair. For a device that has everyday usefulness and won't collect dust on your shelf, Visor clearly wins here, especially for the price. Look, the Apple Vision Pro comes packed with the most amount of tech, but that comes at a really high price. The truth is, it can be overkill for most people. Visor is built with a working professional in mind. Immersed is already the most used AR VR work app on every other headset, which means we have the most customer insights, enabling us to make the most ideal and useful headset. And that's why we built Visor. We intentionally left out the extra bells and whistles that don't matter so we could build you a compelling headset that does. Wow. All right, that wraps up this comparison between the Apple Vision Pro and the Immersed Visor. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of what headset would be most worth it for you. 